So I just stumbled upon something about how silence works in audio files, and it's way more complicated than I thought. Wait, you're saying silence isn't just nothing. I mean, how does a computer interpret silence? Exactly. I found out that when you create a silent file, the system hallucinates audio based on the emptiness. It's wild. Wait, hallucinate? Like it creates sounds that aren't there? That sounds a bit freaky. Right? It's like if blank space started making up its own story. It's a bit mind-blowing to think about. I can't believe that happens. So what triggers these hallucinations? Is it just the noise floor? That's what I was diving into. Even at silence, there's residual noise that the system uses to fill in gaps. So it's like even in silence, there's a background whisper of sound? That's pretty poetic in a way. Totally. And what's surprising, it's not just about ambient noise, it's how algorithms interpret that silence. That makes sense, though. Algorithms are always trying to understand context, right? Exactly. They're filling in the story, where there's nothing. It's like they can't handle pure silence. What if we took this to a human level? Like, can people fill silence with their own thoughts, too? Oh, wow. That's a cool angle. Silence can lead to introspection or anxiety for some, right? Totally. It's fascinating how silence can create space for thought or feel suffocating. A real paradox. And this gets even deeper when we think about how media and art use silence to convey emotion. It's impactful. That's true. Imagine a film scene with no sound. It can heighten tension or emotion immensely. Yeah, and when a silence is broken, it feels so powerful because we're conditioned to expect noise. Like a jump scare in a horror film. Our brains are on the edge, waiting for a sound to break that stillness. Exactly. And the longer the silence, the more we anticipate that sound. It's all about pacing. So, could silence be used more strategically in storytelling? I mean, think of the suspense. Absolutely. It's a tool for creators, allowing them to engage audiences in unexpected ways. Man, I never thought about silence this way. It's like a hidden dimension of expression. And to think it all stems from something as simple as a silent audio file. That's pretty profound. This makes me reconsider how we view absence in communication, too. There's always something there. Exactly. And um, think about how we connect or disconnect when there's silence in conversations. Oh, for sure. Sometimes a pause can be more revealing than words. It's all about what's not said. Right? And it creates tension. Like, is the silence comfortable or awkward? It shapes the interaction. This is so interesting. Silence isn't just the absence of sound. It's an active participant. Exactly. And this idea that silence can provoke so much thought and emotion is truly compelling. It's almost like silence has its own voice. It begs us to listen differently, doesn't it? That's a beautiful way to put it. And it's so relevant in this fast-paced, noise-filled world we live in. Totally. I think it encourages us to carve out moments of silence, to reflect and recharge. Wait, imagine if more creators intentionally used silence. It could transform how we experience art. That would change everything. Silence could be a fresh narrative device. I'm in. Okay. So if silence could be a character in its own right, what would it say about us, do you think? Wow. Maybe it says we're longing for deeper connections, not just noise filling the space. That's profound. And it reflects a societal need for mindfulness and presence within conversations. So should we advocate for more pauses in our conversations to let ideas breathe? Yes. And when we do, maybe we'll find those silences more revealing, more valuable than ever. I love that. It's like we're encouraging a dialogue with everything, even what's unspoken. Exactly. This is why silence in both audio and human interaction intrigues me so much. I'm walking away with such a new perspective on this. Can you believe the depth of silence? Not at all. And it leaves me curious, what else might we overlook that's brimming with meaning? Right? That's the million-dollar question. What else is out there waiting to be uncovered?